Kuroneko Network. What is good, everybody? This is Kuroneko Near for the Kuroneko Network, and we are on episode 30, season 2 of Water Wednesday. And we're talking all about Kira Yamaguchi. My favorite, your favorite, probably everyone's favorite, the new ace of the group, I'd argue. But let's not waste any time and jump straight into this. Let's go. All right, we've made it. We've made it to the Kira Yamaguchi video. If there is one word, one word to describe Kira, it would be fierce. Her looks, fierce. Her dancing, fierce. Her singing, okay, she's kind of in the bottom of the rap duo with Toa, so maybe, maybe not. And come to think of it, her personality I wouldn't call fierce. If anything, she's a lot more calming and soothing. So I guess soothing would be the word to describe Kira. So yeah, Kira is another one of the Kizzy girls. She's in Phantom Mirage. Anyone who knows me know how much I love Phantom Mirage and how Saki is actually my favorite character on the show. But I'm not going to waste time talking about Phantom Mirage too much. There's a whole review on that if you want to know what I think about Saki. Let's go back to that soothing thing. Like, Kira just has this whole soothing aura about her. Like, if you ever get a chance to meet her in person or do one of the call-in things, you'll see that she's mastered this whole idol thing because idols have to notice certain things. And she noticed if the person on the call is, like, nervous or uneasy in some kind of way, she just calms the whole atmosphere. Like, you cannot be nervous around her. She has a very soothing, calming aura about her. Also, without debate, now that Ron is no longer a member of Girls Girls, Kira is easily hands down the best dancer in the group and they know that and they are taking advantage of it. I mean, we saw her dancing. We saw my reaction to the click video. She made me break my one rule. She made me break my one rule and accidentally swear on my channel. Also, if it was not for Misaki, I would argue that Kira is the most mature one in the group probably. She just... She gives off a, a bit of a motherly vibe. Like she, she, They all do goofy things. They do. But if you really pay attention with all their videos, Kira, even while doing the goofy stuff, she just seems to be, I don't know, she just comes off as more mature and more collected. It might just be that whole soothing, calming aura about her. But yeah, she definitely has that older sister vibe. The, the, the older sister of the group or the mother of the group or whatever you want to call it. She just gives off that vibe. If it was not for Misaki, I would say she is the most mature one there. Her acting skills are actually pretty good too. I didn't know because again, even though it's one of my favorites, Phantom Mirage probably has some of the absolute worst acting in the girls heroine series. And not saying it's bad because the acting is good. I say it has some of the absolute worst acting because they overact their their parts on purpose and they look at the screen a lot like they constantly look at the camera and I'm like they're breaking the fourth wall it's hard to judge just how good the acting is but when the Garugaku show came out we got to see just how good Kira is and we're like hey look Kira's pretty good at this acting thing so yeah in fact if she just if she could just get her singing to a decent level up there with like Momo and Kreia and Yoka and Misaki and, and Minami. Oh, she can just get up there to like Minami's level. She could be the new ace of the group because the ace was Ron for the longest. Ron was just the best at everything. But now Kira is like the best at everything except for singing. So yeah, she has the potential to be the new ace of the group if she just gets, if she can get to Minami's level, that will amaze me. I think she probably could do that. But yeah, she has potential to be the new ace. Part of me is a little surprised she's not the one that left to do dancing. And Ron is because, again, Ron was such a great singer and, and good at everything. And, and dancing was like Kira's main thing. But you know what? I'm glad she didn't. I don't want her to leave anytime soon. Please, no more graduations. I am enjoying the group the way that it is. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Did I miss something? Is there something else that you love about Kira Yamaguchi? Let us know because we have one member left as far as Girls Girls Go in season two of Water Wednesday. So I'll catch you all next week. Bibi Togata!